Hello guys, welcome to another video of SpaceX Updates. In this video, we are going to look at the highlights of the Crew-5 launch, Starlink 429 mission, and imminent signs of Starship full stack. On Wednesday, SpaceX launched its fifth crew rotation mission to the ISS for NASA. It was the company's eighth overall human space flight mission. How did they even launch eight crewed missions in a span of 30 months? Well, thanks to the SpaceX team who worked so hard on these crewed missions and its reliable Falcon 9 rocket. This was NASA's fifth long-duration crew rotation mission to the International Space Station. A new Falcon 9 booster B-1077 with the Dragon spacecraft on top blasted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. After sending the Dragon spacecraft into orbit, the booster nicely made its way back to Earth by landing on the SpaceX barge. Just read the instructions stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. This mission was the first flight of this booster, and the second mission for the Crew Dragon spacecraft named Endurance, the same Dragon spacecraft that carried Crew 3 Crew to and fro from the International Space Station. This booster that launched Crew 5 yesterday will be reused and launch NASA's next Crew 6 mission. Reusing the booster, and the spacecraft reduces costs for both NASA and SpaceX. Now, Crew-5 is on its way to the space station. When it comes to setting new bars and smashing records, it's becoming a normal thing for SpaceX. Just 7 hours and 10 minutes after Crew-5 was launched, SpaceX sent another Falcon 9 rocket into space. This was the shortest time between two Falcon 9 rocket launches. Another batch of 52 Starlink satellites was sent into orbit from Space Launch Complex 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Three, two, one, and full power, and liftoff of Starlink 429, go Falcon 9. This was the fifth launch and landing for this Falcon 9 first stage booster. We literally had two rockets launched in a span of seven hours and SpaceX is not done yet. The world's most innovative and leading aerospace company is targeting October 6 to launch the Intelsat G33G34 mission to a geosynchronous transfer orbit from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. A veteran Falcon 9 booster will be on its 14th flight supporting this mission. The liftoff is currently scheduled at 7.07 p.m. ET. This will make third launch of SpaceX within just 31 hours. That is a crazy stat. Well, let's turn our focus to Starship for a moment now. There are imminent signs for a Starship wet dress rehearsal. Workers are doing the final checks and upgrades on the orbital launch mount. Throughout the night, engineers worked on the ship quick disconnect arm. Back at the production site, SPMTs and counterweights are being prepared in front of the high bay. I don't think they are gonna roll out S25. I think it's for Booster 7. If Booster 7 rolls out later today, we will probably see a fully stacked Starship as early as Friday. This is the most exciting news because, for the first time, a fully stacked Starship will undergo a wet dress rehearsal. For anyone who is new to rockets, in a wet dress rehearsal, all the propellant tanks of the rocket are filled with the actual fuel and oxidizer and will go through a launch countdown but without firing up the engines. We have seen fully stacked Starships in the past but it was just for fit checks. This time, it's the real deal. After the wet dress rehearsal, we will see a static fire of Super Heavy Booster 7 with all the 33 engines lighting up. Starship S24 already passed the full 6-engine static fire test last month. Starship will be the world's most powerful rocket ever made with 17 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, which is twice the thrust of NASA's SLS rocket. What a time to be alive when NASA's most advanced and powerful rocket is made to look like a smaller rocket by a private rocket company. In my opinion, NASA is not launching its moon rocket until late November. Can SpaceX's Starship beat the SLS rocket to orbit first? Game on. Let's do this, SpaceX. Well that is it for this video, I hoped you enjoyed the video as much as I did. Thank you for watching.